Hi, I would like to introduce you to a new product from the Percona team, Percona Everest. Percona Everest allows you to create and manage database clusters in an easy and user-friendly web interface. I will demonstrate the installation of Percona Everest using the official documentation. I will also create a database cluster and connect to it. Then I'll delete the installation. It's not difficult and I suggest you try it too. Let's get started with the installation. First, we need to install the tools needed for Percona Everest and work with Kubernetes clusters. I have already installed Docker Desktop which includes Docker Compose. I have also tested curl and installed JQ. It's not complicated. The next step is to create a Kubernetes cluster. Everest can be set up on the Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service or Google Kubernetes engine. I have a Google console and have no cluster. I installed the G Cloud tool to work with Google Cloud and tested it. And I also installed the kubectl tool to work with Kubernetes clusters. Now, everything is ready for cluster creation. I am copying the command to create the recommended cluster from the documentation. I'll need to edit the command a bit. We need to specify a cluster name and a project name. Now we can run the command. The cluster creation process can take five minutes. I want to check the process in the Google Cloud Console. We need to keep in mind the resources of the cluster. For example, now we are creating a cluster with four CPUs and we will not be able to create more databases than the available resources. At the end of the video, we will remove the test cluster. Now we can install Everest. We only need one command for a quick installation. We need to check that the cube config file is available. If not, we need the second command. Let's copy the command. Okay, our cluster is still being created, let's wait a few seconds. The cluster is ready, I'll just check it out in Google Cloud Console before installing Everest. The cluster works. I copy the command and run it. The install command downloads the Everest CTL tool, runs the necessary containers in Docker, and installs Everest and Percona Kubernetes operators. As a result, Everest will be opened in your browser. It's working. We don't have any databases, and we are ready to create one. We can select the type of database. We can also set storage class and database version. Continue. We can select the number of nodes and the resources for each node. Continue. We can enable external access so that we can connect to the database from outside the cluster. Monitoring with PMM can also be enabled. Awesome. The database is being created. We can see the current status of the database in the list. For now we can see the details, resources and access data. We can see the pods that Everest creates using the kubectl command. Everest uses the Percona Everest namespace. 
we see pods of operators and a new database, pod with haproxy and pod with PXC. We can also look at the databases in the DB object. When the status changed to up, we can connect to the database and use it. I use the workbench tool to connect to the database. Let's try to create a connection. We've connected to the database. Now we can run SQL queries, create a schema, and do whatever we want to do. I'm just looking at the users and status. We can create another database or multiple databases with different types, versions, and allocated resources. Don't forget about the resources of Kubernetes cluster we created. We created a test cluster with four CPUs on each node available for our databases. We can edit and change the database configuration, stop it, or delete it. Now, as we are finishing the introduction, I am going to delete the database. I also delete this test cluster on Google Cloud to reset everything. Next time I'll start from scratch. This saves money as the cluster consumes resources of the cloud. I take the command in the documentation and use my cluster parameters. Let's run the delete command. We also need to stop the Everest container in Docker desktop. That's all, we've cleaned up everything we've done. Thank you very much, bye.